Hi, my name is Joe Snyder. I'm with Freightliner Custom Chassis, and I'm here in a Berkshire. I was invited by Forest River to come in today and share with you a little bit more about our drive tech system. Now, today we're sitting in a Berkshire XL. So let's just jump in and get started with drive tech. Drive tech is the steering wheel and the dash that you see here, and the stocks on the right and left hand side of the column. Now, what we wanted to do was we wanted to bring safety into the coach and also bring in technology that makes sense. So if we can do that, why not? So we did that with Mercedes-Benz Health. So you see this nice dash that up here? That's straight out of Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Only they interviewed with RVers for over five years to make it what RVers want. And they wanted to see how they used it and what made sense to them. So everything that you see on this dash, whether it's the gauges or the optional gauges, the placement, all of that was helped and designed by Mercedes-Benz and RV users. So let's dig into that a little bit. I'm gonna start right here with the right-hand stock. Now the right-hand stock has is where you're going to shift into drive or you're gonna shift into reverse. Now as you shift into drive, it's gonna say D and six. And that's going to tell you that you're in sixth gear or, or um, when you're driving down the road and you get to sixth gear it'll say six um, when you start off and you go into d it's just going to say one right off the bat like we see here now uh, as you go into second gear it'll say two and three and four and so forth now the big deal about having this here is you don't have to really take your hands off the steel wheel or your eyes off of the road we want you to have safety i like to say that this is a hands-on heads up safety first mechanism for you so now in drive mode there is the opportunity sometimes for you to want to maybe set what your top gear is and what i mean by that is if you're in stop and go traffic you may see that the transmission keeps shifting from fourth to fifth gear fourth to fifth gear and you want to just hold it in fourth gear rather than having your transmission uh, shift up and down and the way to do that is just go ahead and paddle up or down and that will start to manually set the top gear and right now I'm gonna set it at four now when I'm done doing that I can either paddle that on up to six and it'll go right back to normal drive or I can just tap this button here right at the end and that'll take it back to drive two